Hey everyone, so today we're having a quick look at diminished triads. Now you're probably wondering, Pat, why are we looking at diminished triads? I know heaps of major chords, I know minor triads. Why are we looking at diminished triads? Okay, well it's really, really important. Now we're going to be having a look at major scales and tones and semitones. So if you don't remember or haven't learnt that yet, have a look at these two videos. One on creating major chords and minor triads and one on learning tones and semitones, okay? So pressing on, it's really, really important to understand diminished triads because in the next video we're going to have a look at how you can easily create songs using uh, all the chords and all the notes that can be found in major scales or major key signatures, okay? Now if we have a look at this C major scale, okay? Now remember, all those notes in the C major scale, that's actually all the notes in the C major key signature as well, okay? Now every single note, okay, you can build a major chord or a minor triad or a diminished or augmented, you can build chords from them, okay? But what we're looking specifically is we're looking at building chords that are going to be relevant to this particular key signature, okay? So all of these notes in the C major scale, in the C major key signature, they can be jumbled around and they can be used to make chords. If we were to be, build a chord from the seventh degree, and in this case it's a B, it would be a diminished chord, okay? Now we're only looking at triads, we're not looking at those extensions, sevenths and, and onwards after that. We're only looking at triads, but today's video we're quickly going to have a look at how you make a diminished triad. Okay, here we go. Now really quickly, for those of you who already have a grasp of major chords and minor triads and how to create them, three simple steps in order to make this diminished chord, okay? So first, write out your major scale, in this case we've chosen a C major scale, and write down the scale degree numbers below them, just like that, okay? Get rid of everything except for one, three, and five. That's step two. And the last step is you simply flatten the three and the five, or you take them back a fret, or down one semitone, that's it. So in the C diminished chord example that we've got here, the C diminished triad, you've got a one flat three and a flat five, or a C, E flat, or G flat. And that's it, that's all you do to create that C diminished triad, and it works the same. Let's have a quick look, here's the D major scale, okay? Now all you do again, three simple steps, you write out the D major scale using that series of tones and semitones, Again, found in that video down there. Once you've made those tones and semitones and you've got the scale, write down the scale degrees underneath from one to eight. Get rid of everything except for one, three, five and flatten the third degree and the fifth degree. So in the D example, it would be D, F and A flat. And it's the same with any major scale. So write out the scale, all you need is one, three, five and then just flatten those degrees. And that's it, it's really that simple. Now if you're thinking to yourself, Pat, why are we looking at diminished chords? I haven't really played a song with a diminished chord in it before. I haven't really heard one. You know, I've learned a lot of major chords and I've learned a lot of minor chords. Why are we looking at diminished chords? Well, it's really, really important. And now if we have a look at this C major scale here, now remember all the notes in this C major scale from C to C, they're all the same notes that are in the C major key signature. Really important. Now, each degree or each number, each degree of that scale or each degree of that key signature, you can build a chord up from, and that's what's in our next video. So if you have a look at the seventh degree, that's really important. That seventh degree, when you build a chord up within that key signature, it's always gonna be a diminished chord, okay? Specifically, we're looking today at diminished triads, meaning a three note chord, a three note triad. So it's really important that you understand why we're creating diminished chords, because in the next video we really expand upon it. What's really important to understand is that when you're looking at writing music within a particular key signature, you've got all these different notes that you can use. And if you really wanna use a, let's, because we're still in C major or the C major key signature, if you wanna use a B chord or you really wanna get to that diminished sort of sound, you're gonna know that you're gonna to have to play a the seventh degree, which is the B chord, and it's gonna be a diminished triad using the flat three and the flat five. One, flat three, flat five. Well done, everyone. Bye.